I'm Courtney Najedli for Fashion TV. Well, New York Fashion Week is one day away, but tonight we celebrate famed fashion photographer Vital Aguibalo and his 15 plus years in the industry. Well, if you notice behind me here, adorning the walls are about 15 of his photographs that will be featured all of New York Fashion Week and for the entire month. I'm so proud of Vital. Um, and, you know, every year he surprises me more and more. And today, looking at this amazing location in the Midtown Manhattan, I'm so proud of him. And all the people he photographed, it's I don't know. He's a superstar. I really enjoyed sort of the uh, the clear forms that he provides. So okay. the, the simplicity of, of the uh, of the subject that he displays, and the, I'm, I'm not a professional photographer, but I appreciate the uh, um, the way he puts the subjects into the right light. Yeah. And uh, I don't know how else to explain it. Uh, tell me a little bit about how you guys got connected. Well, very simple actually, you know, through the word of mouth, we have every, it's a small world, like you said, and everybody knows each other, especially in New York. So we were working with a ballerina, Dvaravenko, Irina Dvaravenko, and she's really good friends with Vital, and she suggested for us to do a photo shoot with him, using him as a photographer, and we fell in love with each other's work, and we've working ever since. I'm here with Meredith Leon McCormick. Now, you're an editorial director at World Bride Magazine. Okay, so first, let's talk about the magazine and your relationship with Vital and how all that's kind of intertwined. And then I understand it goes back even further, so tell me about that, too. Yes, it does. So, um, Vital has shot some of our amazing fashion stories, brides, but not the flat brides. We're talking about the edgy, he gave us flavor and you will see one of the shots that he did here. So he has a creative eye that's really amazing, and he knows how to bring out the best in the models. I'm so still, my best. I'm still yeah. thinking flat magazine, or flat models, what, what, flat brides, that's what you said. Yeah. What does that mean? I mean. Like boring, subdued, oh. So it's a personality, it. yes. He put edge into it, style, and he allowed the model, and he gave, us creativity, he encouraged creativity. That's a good thing I like about him. Because if you know, if you remember Bridal, Bridal Magazine was very, but yes. now there's edge to it, there's style into it. It's merged fashion with okay. all art and culture in it, and that's what World Bride Magazine is. So Teen Vogue, I understand that you and Vital met way back when, when you were working for Teen Vogue. Yeah, absolutely. So the thing is, I used to be a celebrity manicurist, and I was with Ford Models, and um, I pitched a story uh -huh. to Teen Vogue, and it was Eva Chin then at that time. Okay. So I said, Eva, I want to do a really cool nail story. Can I do something? She says, absolutely. And I said, Vital, we can shoot for Teen Vogue. And he's like, let's do it, darling. And he <laughs> stayed with me. I think we shot till like 11 p.m. at night. It was oh him and Kate, and we just, we just, got creative it was fun it was fun cool nails it's still like one of the things that i'm known for for working with teen vogue okay well you know what mm -hmm. teen vogue is a big deal and then he yes. went on to shoot for vogue as well yes he does so he in essence you were partially responsible for opening the future doors for him i think we opened doors for each other because i had a nail team and with my nail team he would come backstage and shoot us and I would submit the, ma the, the, the photographs to magazines because they wanted behind the scenes what was going on. So all the models fell in love with his little blonde, cute self. And literally, if the models saw him, they're like, oh, can you shoot me? Can you shoot me? Oh my and God. that was it. So he was the behind the stage man, but he was a cool guy. So right now, I feel like we're in this era of selfie generation. Oh, we started and, Yeah, exactly. That's what, I'm, that's what I want to say. <laughs> We started it way before. It was me, Vital, so he was backstage, like New York Fashion Week, Miami Swim. He would literally, him and Kate, would fly to Miami and be backstage, oh and we were God. shooting behind the scenes, the models. That's how they fell in love with him. Well, he is definitely a character. I feel like I, I was walking upstairs, and there's so many people there to support him. Oh, absolutely. But everybody's just so friendly, giving him a hug, giving him a high five. He's just, he's, he's cool. a celebrity in himself. No, he is a celebrity. 
So. But he's an approachable celebrity. So I was lucky enough to run into Christina and Johnny. You guys are the store owners of the Tribeca store of Biza. You're here tonight to celebrate Vital. And behind me, actually, is one of the photographs from your store. What does it mean like for you two to be here to celebrate Vital and, and your rapport and relationship with him? Well, he's such a talented uh, person and such an inspiration. And so we just want to support him and uh, wish him all the good luck. Yeah. Now, this photograph behind me, this is from your store. This is one of the ads that you have. We are, we exchange inspirations. We're an inspiration to him. And of course, he's an inspiration to us. So the clothing is from Ibiza, you know, but it's his uh, imagery. It's his creativity that pulls it all together. His, his photography, his sense of style is impeccable. And there's a very nice uh, a little display oh, yeah. of his uh, photographs in our store right now. Yeah, we're on Dwayne so, Street, 147 Dwayne Street, uh, just off of West Broadway. Well, we'll make sure to stop by. For everybody back at home, make sure to check out your clothes. And do you have a website as well? Is it? It, it is at nyc.com. Well, check it out, guys. And thanks so much for being here. Vital is so glad that you guys came and showed your support. Thank you again. Very pleased. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, my pleasure. You'll do such great work. Thank He's you. a doll. He's an expert and a doll. <laughs> so I had a chance to snag the man of the hour himself, Vital Aguibalo. Now you had the decision of figuring out what photographs are adorning the walls at the Royalton tonight. How did that process come about? You're very talented at what you do. I mean, is there a story behind each of these images? There's 15 images. So how did you pick the 15? Well, it's like kind of big process, you know, and uh, I really like those pictures because there is some story behind it. Oh, okay. And um, always interesting, you know, it, and, you know, it's very hard when people limit you like to a certain amount of frames mm -hmm. you can do. So, um, you know, there is every picture is something about it. And yeah, tell the stories. You know, I love those images. That's why I put them out. No, that is incredible. I mean, I would have a difficult time. You're very prideful of all of, all of your photographs that you've had a chance to take. So I imagine it was a difficult process. But again, I want to mention that all of these photos will be on display for an entire month at the Royalton. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Speaking. Uh, the New York Fashion Week until the end of the Paris Fashion Week. Okay. Well, speaking of the Royalton, the last event, we had it in this big loft space. Now we're, we're upgraded. We're in this hotel penthouse suite upstairs, and then we also utilize the lobby here. Is this monumental for you? I feel like we're almost graduating to a bigger space, a bigger event. What's tonight like for you? Well, um, I love the name Royalton. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's one thing. The second thing, it's a really good place and it's a very warm atmosphere here. Uh, young people around and it's like beautiful. I mean, I love this place. So and thank you organizers of the event and thank you the Royalton Hotel to, for giving me such a, a beautiful opportunity to be here. Yes. Katerina Juke from Major Models is here tonight. Now, I understand that Vital is actually responsible for your career as a model. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, he was the one that actually built my portfolio and got me signed with major models in New York, and it was the best time of my life. I found him through social media. I instantly fell in love with his pictures, and we've been working ever since, and I, it's been an amazing experience. And I thank him so much for getting me signed with an agency because it's absolutely amazing.